Day two. This is day two um, of, of pit preparation. So all I've done yesterday is I've made the yard um, just with the rod on, no catcher. And just for the for the pitch area through here, I've just dropped it down a notch. And I've just ran through just with the, the little fly mo reel mower there. And I've just gone through, done a few trips over that with it. But now I'm gonna drop it down a notch. Drop it down a notch and we'll go through it again. I think today is the 19th. So yeah. We'll see how good we can get it by Christmas Day. Um, so I'll, I'll conf I will confess this right at the very start of the making. Of this of this pitch for this year um, is I'm definitely not a, a green keeper and I really don't know how to make a pitch um, but look as usual with with everything that I do pretty much um, I'm, I'm an amateur I'm having a go um, so what what my plan is for this I'm probably gonna pump the water into it for the next I don't know at least few days and then a couple of days out from Christmas, um, it's just hot. A couple of days out from Christmas, I'm probably gonna, might start covering it up and trying to get that brownness. I, I don't know if that's how they do it, but um, it's probably how I'm gonna do it. But we'll see how it goes anyway. If it's, um, if I can get it pretty, pretty flat and pretty hard, um, just with that real mower. I do have the roll there too and I'll give it a I'll give it a few rolls here and there. I might give it a might give it a good soak tonight and I might get out in the morning and give it a roll before I go to work. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so that's day one. Oh no, day two. Day one was yesterday. That was the, the first initial mow with the with the rod on, just down a notch, but we've um hit it a few times with the real mower down a bit lower. How's it going, boy? How's the pitch, boys? Do you reckon yeah, it's all right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. Way better than yesterday. Yeah, good. I can tell you that. So she might come up all right for Christmas Day. Let's see, we'll see. Alright, so we're morning day three. I uh, just had the sprinklers on for probably an hour. Yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening. And I'm just going to give it a roll this morning. Just to try and flatten it out a bit. Um, as you can see from the rolling, it's only a, we're only doing a short pitch here, um, and we're only batting at one end. So most of my roll, I, I did roll the whole pit, but most of my concentrated efforts were, were in in these bits in here on a, on a good length, just to try and get that um, Just try and get that a bit flatter. So, okay, right, it's coming up all right, I think. All right, so we're day four, about, I don't know, it's about one o'clock. Day four, I'm home today. Um, so yeah, she's coming along all right. So what's happened today is I have mowed, mowed the lawn, mowed the whole lawn in general. Um, and then I've come out with the, the fly mower, real mower. And I've gone over, gone over the pitch a few times on, on the lowest setting. 
um, then we've watered again, and then we've rolled it. So it's coming along all right. Not looking too bad. So I'm probably just gonna keep doing what I'm doing for now. Um, Cause it's looking all right to me. Day five. So it's not looking too bad. We got a, um, a bit of a storm through last night, but um, we, got, we had seven mil, so. Probably enough to not have to water anything today. Um, and there is more storms expected this afternoon too. So what I am going to do today is just give it a bow and a roll this morning. I'm probably not going to cover it up. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything about this, but just the grass is totally thick in most parts, but um, still a bit, a bit of dirt there, but I just think with the short preparation, that's it's going to be inevitable. For a short turn around on a pitch, but for a backyard pitch, um, I don't think you're going to have too many dramas, I think you'll be fine. Pitch prep, day seven. I uh, didn't get anything done yesterday. It's working, so. So what's going to happen today is, I'm basically, so I'm gonna do a general mow, just a general mow of the lawn areas with the rod on. Then I'll get the, the push reel mower out and I'll give the pitch a mow. Then I'm gonna give everything a good water. Then I will roll the pitch. And then we'll get the markings on for the crease and that. Hopefully the salvi. Um, yeah, so it's not looking too bad. It's got a bit of green in it, but yeah, whether I put the covers on it, I don't know. I don't know whether I'll end up covering it or not. I may cover it, just get a bit of that green out a bit later. After I'll, I'll see what it looks like after I've mowed it. So I'm put the colours on for, for an hour or two. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Right, so that's all mowed. Got the fields mowed and the pitch is mowed. So I've just gone and given the pitch, given the pitch a bit of water. Now I'll give it, um, give it its last roll, what I think will be its last roll. May get a roll in the morning. We'll see what, um, we'll see what's doing. Alright, so I'm just going to leave the covers on for a bit and I'm just going to give the field area a bit of a drink. So I'm going to leave the covers on um, probably an hour or two, I reckon. So I just want to brown it up a little bit as well. I don't want to completely kill it, but that's not too bad there. It's just a tinge of green. just want to give it that nice, nice brown effect. Basically, so yeah, we'll be back 
be back later because I've got to get this finished today but I've got other things to do so I'm going to keep water in the field and the covers will stay on while, while the sprinklers go on um, and we'll look at it later. So the afternoon of day seven, Christmas day tomorrow, um, there's not much more I can do now. There's only one more thing left to do. And let's get to get some, mark out the crease. Straight edge, I've just got that piece of angle there. So I've just marked him out where the, where the front crease is gonna go. So I'll spray this bit here and then I'll pull this along, just do this extra little bit. And then I'll spin him around and do the other side. It's still a bit windy here, so I've just put this little piece of wood up the end here just so I can get a nice, nice tight right angle. Hopefully it's in my spray. Now all I'm using is just some die mark, line marking paint. Not a sponsor. Um, now this, this is just a stock A standard line marking paint. It will kill your grass. There is some other stuff you can get, uh, water-based and um, stuff that's purposely made for, for marking grass. Um, or you can just use some um, acrylic water-based paint out of a tin with a paintbrush. I have done that in the past, but the line marking paint's just a heap easier. So I'm gonna try and do this. While I'm holding onto my phone as well. I'm going to try and, the first, first swipe, I'm going to try and mainly get it over this side, where the... All right, so that's it. One crease. Now I'm gonna keep going. I need the same crease. Same crease up the other ends, and I need one, I probably won't put one gunnel on the back here, but we'll need one coming out either side there, and that'll be the same up that end. So we'll just keep going. All right, well that's done, that's a wrap. So that's pitching seven days, just from a, basically a few minutes every day. A bit more on some days, but really not a not a huge amount of work. And she's come up all right, I'm pretty happy with that. I give the wickets a new look at paint too. There you go, hope you've enjoyed that. It's been fun making the wicket. I might even keep it going. See how we good see how good we can get it for next year. Right I see you all, thanks for watching.